Ever questioned your reality? Wondered if there's a way to change it instantly? Well, my friends, you're not alone in this quest. In this vast universe, we are but stardust, trying to make sense of our existence, trying to shape our realities. As we journey through life, we often find ourselves at crossroads, wondering if there's a way to alter our reality, to shift our world in a way that reflects our deepest desires. But what if I told you that there's a principle, a concept so profound, it holds the potential to instantly change your reality? Intriguing, isn't it? This is where we introduce the enigmatic mirror principle. The mirror principle is a fascinating concept, a gem from the treasure trove of self-help and personal development. It's a tool powerful enough to change your reality, to alter your worldview, to transform your life in ways you've never imagined. Sounds like a fantasy, doesn't it? But believe me when I say, it's as real as the air you breathe and the thoughts you think. The mirror principle is not just a concept, it's a journey, a journey into the depths of your consciousness. It's about understanding that our external world is but a reflection of our internal state. It's about realizing that the world mirrors our deepest beliefs, our fears, our desires. But how does it work? How can something so simple be so transformative? How can the mirror principle change your reality? And more importantly, how can you apply it in your everyday life? These are some of the questions we'll be answering in the next few minutes. So if you're tired of the same old, same old, if you're ready to shake things up, to challenge your beliefs, to step out of your comfort zone, then you're in the right place. Because we're about to embark on a journey, a journey into the mystic realms of the Mirror Principle. If you're intrigued, stick around, we'll dive into the depths of the Mirror Principle. Now, let's unravel the mystery of the mirror principle. Picture this, you're standing in front of a mirror, gazing at your reflection. Everything you see is exactly as you are, mirrored back to you. This is a simple concept we all understand, right? Now, what if I told you that the same principle applies to the world around us? You see, the mirror principle posits that our external world is merely a reflection of our internal state. It's as if we're living in a grand cosmic mirror showing us who we are on the inside. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's delve a little deeper, shall we? Imagine you're carrying a grudge. You're upset, angry, and it shows. According to the mirror principle, you'll likely encounter situations and people that mirror these negative emotions back to you. You might find yourself stuck in traffic or dealing with difficult people at work. It's as if the universe is saying, hey, this is how you're feeling on the inside, so this is what you get on the outside. But it's not all doom and gloom, oh no. On the flip side, if you're radiating positivity, happiness and love, the world will reflect that back to you in kind. You'll find yourself surrounded by joyful people, positive experiences and opportunities for growth. Now you might be wondering, does this mean if I'm sad, the world will be sad with me? Not exactly. The idea here is not that the world is feeling your emotions, but rather reflecting them back to you. It's like your personal echo, reverberating your feelings and thoughts back to you. This principle isn't about blame or judgment. It's about awareness and understanding. It's a tool to help us recognize our internal state and how it influences our external reality. It encourages us to take responsibility for our thoughts and emotions and in doing so, gives us the power to change our world. So in essence, the mirror principle suggests that our external world is a reflection of our internal state. Scene script. Let's break down the key points of the mirror principle. First off, the mirror principle is about reflection, but not the kind you see when you gaze at your own image in a shiny surface. No, we're talking about the reflection of your internal state, your thoughts, emotions and beliefs in the external world. Picture your mind as a grand projector, casting its light onto the screen of reality. Key point number one, your thoughts matter. They're like the script that the projector of your mind follows. Positive thoughts tend to manifest positive experiences, while negative thoughts can lead to less desirable outcomes. It's like a law of the universe, much like gravity. You don't have to understand it fully to see its effects. Moving on to key point number two, your emotions. These are like the fuel that drives the projector. 
Strong emotions, whether they are joyous or sorrowful, amplify the power of your thoughts. If you're feeling particularly happy or particularly sad, you might notice that the world seems to respond in kind, don't you think? And now, key point number three, your beliefs. These are the lens through which the projector of your mind focuses its light. They shape your perception of reality and in turn shape the reality you experience. If you believe the world is a friendly place, you'll likely encounter more friendly faces. If you believe the opposite, well, you might just find that too. It's important to remember that the mirror principle isn't about blame or judgment. It's not saying that every bad thing that happens is your fault because of your thoughts, emotions or beliefs. But it is suggesting that these internal states have a significant influence on your life. In essence, the mirror principle is about understanding that you have more control over your reality than you might think. It's about recognizing that you're not just a passive observer in your life, but an active participant. Remember, your external world mirrors your internal world, not the other way around. Scene script. All right, we've learned what the mirror principle is. Now, how do we apply it? Let's dive into the practical steps you can take to apply the mirror principle in your everyday life. You see, the mirror principle isn't a one-time magic trick. It's a lifestyle, a mindset, a conscious decision you make each and every day. Firstly, we must cultivate self-awareness. It's like turning on a light in a room that's been dark for too long. This step is essential as it allows us to see our thoughts, feelings and actions clearly. And in the grand tapestry of the mirror principle, clarity is key. So how do we go about becoming more self-aware, you ask? Start by paying attention to your thoughts and feelings. When you're feeling a certain way, ask yourself why. What's causing this emotion? What thought or event triggered it? By doing this, you're not only acknowledging your feelings, but also understanding them. The second step is mindful thinking. This is where you consciously choose your thoughts. Yes, you heard it right. You can choose your thoughts. Just as you choose what clothes to wear, what food to eat, you can choose what thoughts to think. It's like sorting through a wardrobe of thoughts and only choosing the ones that serve you best. When you start to see negative thoughts creeping in, simply acknowledge them and then let them go. Replace them with positive, empowering thoughts. Remember, the mirror principle is all about reflecting your internal state to your external reality. So, if you want a happy, positive reality, you need to cultivate a happy, positive mindset. Lastly, patience and consistency are vital. Changes won't happen overnight. But with consistency and patience, you'll start to see the mirror principle working its magic in your life. So the next time you're faced with a situation, remember to look within first. The mirror principle reminds us that the power to change our reality lies within us. It's in our thoughts, our feelings and our actions. So take the reins and steer your life in the direction you want it to go. Now, let's explore how the mirror principle can change your reality. Imagine for a moment you're standing before a grand mirror, reflecting not just your physical appearance, but your thoughts, actions and emotions. This mirror is your reality. As you change, it changes. This is the essence of the mirror principle. Now let's delve into the realm of personal development and self-improvement. Being aware of the mirror principle can truly be transformative. By understanding that our external reality is a reflection of our internal state, we can direct our efforts inward to bring about desired changes in our life. Take for instance the story of Richard. Richard was a man stuck in a rut, with a reality that seemed bleak and unchanging. But once he discovered the mirror principle, he decided to change his internal state. He began practicing gratitude, self-love and positivity. And as if by magic, his reality shifted. His relationships improved, opportunities knocked on his door, and he found joy in his everyday life. Or consider Jessica, who was constantly battling self-doubt and insecurity. She felt like she was always swimming against the tide. But when she understood the mirror principle, she realized she was the tide. She started to cultivate self-confidence and self-belief. And lo and behold, her reality responded. 
She found herself achieving things she never thought possible. These are not isolated incidents, but rather glimpses into a universal truth. The mirror principle works not because it's magic, but because it's a fundamental law of our universe. As within, so without, as above, so below. The mirror principle invites us to be conscious creators of our reality, to understand that we hold the brush that paints our world. By changing our inner world, our outer world naturally follows suit. With the mirror principle, you hold the power to change your reality. So what reality will you create?